second. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you are interested in learning Arduino programming, you can visit our playlist which covers a lot of topics on most of the components and helps you to understand the programming line by line. In all of these videos, we are using the Arduino IDE to write the program and upload to the Arduino board. Assume you are working on a project code. You want to share the project with others, but not the editable code. In such cases, you can compile the code and generate the hex file. By sharing this hex file, other person can also make the same project without accessing the editable code. Even the embedded industries also follow the same approach. They share the hex files to the clients instead of the developed code. So in today's video, I'll show you how you can use your Arduino IDE and generate the hex file out of any code. Also at the end, I'll show you the steps on uploading this generated hex file to our Arduino board. So here in the Arduino IDE, I have a simple code, LED connected to pin 7 and we are blinking the LED with delay of 500 milliseconds. First we'll see how to generate the hex file from this code. For that go to file, preferences and here show verbose output during compilation. So enable this compilation option and click on OK. So now you can directly use this compile button. After the compilation, the IDE will generate the hex file and that hex file you can find it in this path. So if you see here at the bottom, So there are also intermediate object files getting generated but we'll take only the hex file which is needed for flashing. So here we can see dot hex. So you can copy this path. It will be in the C folder. So this is the folder and you can see the dot hex file. This is without the bootloader and also we get the same hex file which is combined with the bootloader. So for our flashing we'll be using this dot hex file without bootloader. So, so till here it's creating hex file. In order to flash this file on the Arduino board there are multiple tools available, but I'll be using the X loader, which is free and there is no need of any installation. We can directly use the executable interface. So for downloading the file, you can visit the link from the description box. Going through the link, you'll get this page. Just download this. and we get the zip file which is in downloads. Extract this and inside this folder we get xloader.exe. So open this and here use this browse option and select the hex file which we generated from the IDE. So in my case it's here in this path. I'll give the same path and select the .x file without bootloader. 
in the device option you can select the board you are using in my case it's Arduino Uno board with Atmega 328p microcontroller so I'll select this COM port so this is COM6 for your respective board you can check the COM port from device manager if you want in device manager you can see ports and here Arduino Uno COM6 so same thing I'll give here and baud rate keep it default and then click on upload yeah it says uploaded and we can see here the LED on the pin 7 is blinking as expected that's all for this video guys in the coming days I'll also make a interesting method of using command prompt to upload the hex and also to read the hex from the Arduino memory I hope this video was informative stay tuned for more videos subscribe and also follow us on Instagram for more updates thank you for watching I'll be back in the next video